for Manchester City as they would extend their lead at the top of the table now over Liverpool and Chelsea. Take a look at how that has made the difference. They are now 11 points clear. Don't forget, it's Chelsea against Liverpool on Sunday. Uh, for more on this, let's welcome in, shall we? Craig Burley's with us, as is Frank LeBeuf and Nader Manua. Um, how, 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 does it, how does it feel to start 2022 with nobody in the studio because none of the pundits want to be in there with you? Hey, it's how nice, mate. Feel? The peace and quiet is fantastic. Fantastic, I tell you. <laughs> See if we do the same at my house. Uh, right, uh, Craig, obviously, you know, the, the great game, good performance by Arsenal, but it is those talking points and those penalties that everyone seems to be discussing. Uh, let's start with the first one, shall we? The Odegaard challenge from Edison. For you, is it a pen? Y yes, it was. But I, listen, I have no criticism of the referee for missing it at full speed. But listen, this is where the VAR and the uh, referees that are operating it, which is more importantly, I think more, more to the point, the referees that are, are operating, the re are looking at the replays. We've we got to get rid of this sort of jargon that has flown around since VAR came out now and clear and obvious. VAR, VAR Dan is there to correct incorrect decisions, period. Particularly in the penalty box, right? Not really too fast about other places in the field unless it's dangerous play. In the penalty box, was it a foul? Yes or no? That, that's quite simple. And we had replays of this challenge. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.